this, lay readers and gentlemen, is perhaps the commonest of all cases arising out of umbrella history in connection with the wood industries in our courts of litigation. Doily Owens holds, though Finn Magnuson of himself holds also, that so long as there is a joint deposit account in the two names of mutual obligation is posited. Owen cites Brer Fox and Warren, a foreign firm since deceased, registers as Tango's Limited, for the sale of certain propriety articles. The action which was at the instance of the trustee of the Heathen Church Emergency Fund suing by its trustee, a resigned civil servant, for the payment of tithes due was heard by Judge Doyle and also by a common jury. No question arose as to the debt for which vouchers spoke volumes. The defence alleged that payment had been made effective. The fund trustees won Jucundus, Fecundus, Zero Pecundus, Copper Cheap. Counter claimed that payment was invalid having been intended to creditor under cover of a cross-check. Signed in the ordinary course in the name of Wield Helm, Hurl's Cross voucher copy provided and drawn by the senior partner only by whom the lodgment of the species had been effected but in their joint names. The bank particularised the national misery now almost entirely in the hands of the four chief bondholders of value in tangos, declined to pay the draft, though there were ample reserves to meet the liability, whereupon the trusty copper cheap negotiated it for and on behalf of the fund of the thing to a client of his, a notary from whom, on consideration, he received in exchange legal relief as between trustee and best thrust with thanks. Since then, the cheque, a good washable pink embossed D, U, D, number 11, 132, good for the figure and face, had been circulating in the country for over 39 years among dozens of pango stock. A rival concern, though not one demonetized farthing had ever spun or fluctuated across the counter in the semblance of hard corn, coin or liquid cash. A jury, the jury, a sour dozen of stout fellows, all of whom were curiously named after Doyle's, naturally disagreed jointly and severally, and the belligerent judge, disagreeing with the allied jurors' disagreement, went outside his jurors' fiction altogether and ordered a garnishy attachment to the neutral firm. No mandamus could locate the depleted wylum, Bray Fox, as he had entered into an ancient moratorium, dating back to the times of the early barters, and only the junior partner Baron could be found, who entered an appearance and turned up upon notice of motion, and after service of the motion by interlocutory injunction among the male jurors, to be an absolute turf woman, originally from the proletarian class with still good a good title to her sex name of Anne Doyle, two Coppingers cottages, three the, the Doyle's country, the Doyle's country Doyle, Anne and woman, in having regretfully left the jury boxes, protested cheerfully on the stand in a long jury myad, in recoursed checks, delivered in Doylish that she had often in supply to brusque demands Rising almost to boiling point, discounted Maester Breakforce first of all in exchange at nine months from date without issue, and so to be strictly literal, unbottled in corroboration a current account of how she had been made at sight for services rendered the payee drawee of unwashable blank assignations. Sometimes Pink Williams laughed her but more often of the creme de citron, their email, 
pan cook or marshmallow series, which she as bearer used to endorse adhesively to her various prayer drawers, who in most cases were identified by the timber papers as well-known tetragists of the city and suburban. The witness, at her own request, asked if she might and wrote something between the sheets of music paper which she had accompanied herself with her for the occasion, and this having been handed up for the bench to look at in camera. Coppinger's doll, as she was called, Anias Macersda, the adopted child, then proposed to Jerry Kin and Durins in every gym, Jock and Jerry in that little green courting housey, for her satisfaction and as a whole act of settlement, to re-amalgamate herself tomorrow perforce in partnership with a permanent sewing fund trustee, Monsignor Pepegui, under the new style of will breast breakfast, and Sparum, as when all his cognizance had been as treated, he seemed to prefer the steadiest interest towards her, but this proposal was ruled out on appeal by Judge Jeremy Doyler, who reserving judgment in a matter of courts, and reversing the findings of the lower correctional, found beyond doubt of Troisen, fending the disassents of the pick-pack panel, twelve as upright Judases as ever let down their thorns, and occupanti extramum, scarby handed down to the jury of the Liffey, that as a matter of tact the women they gave as free was born into contractual incapacity, the Caliph of Man versus Odalus Company, when how and where Mammy's Municipium Act did not apply, and therefore held supremely that as no property and law can exist in a corpse. Hal Gilbride versus Una Bellina. Pebigi's pat was pure piffle, loud laughter, and Warren would whistle for the rhino. Will you, won't you, pango with Pebigi? Not for Nancy. How dare you do? And woo, 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 woo. He sighed in sleep. Let us go back, lest he forewaken, hide ourselves, while hovering dream wings folding around, will hide from fears my wee me mannequin, keep my big wig, long strong manaman, guard my bairn, mumbo, to bed. Prospector, projector, and boo muster, giant builder of all causeways, woe soever, hopping off point and true terminus of strax straight cuts, and corkscrewn perambula hops, seal whence to goal, with a wonder lust in sequence to which every muscle must make its mickle, as different as York from Leeds, being the only wise in a muck's world to look on itself from beforehand. Mirror-minded curiosities, and wood to the large would bring hills to mole hunter, home through first husband perils behind swine, and horsepower down to Hungerford, prick this man and tit up this woman and forced pirates. Bogey Bobo with his gunny nest couch bear, big master finnikin with finisher parks, lame of his ear and gape of her leg, most correctingly, we beseech of you down there, ladder case. Have not watched service and bring them at some time. Flush with the nethermost gangoon of their stepchildren. Guide them through the labyrinth of their samilikes and the altar causes of their pseudo cells. Hedge them both ways from all roamers whose names are Ligius from loss of bearings. Deliver them so they keep to their rights. And beware of duty freeze, Neolithic Smith, and Magdalenian Ginny Joneses. 
Man dragon more and weak, with the ducky. More and mal and thrid as Basilis glorious with his weenie queenie, tiger knack and swan's grace here or hail as his. Our duties, she as verve as her veins. This prime white arsenic with bistamate alloyed, martial sin with peccadilly free to lease, hold with first mortgage dows a dower and dip a deuce. Stop that war and feel this feather, Norse blood heartened and land's mules washable. Great gas with fun in the corner, grand slam with fall of the trick, solemn one and shabby, cord and coney, cash and carry, in all we dreamed the part we dreaded, corsair coupled with his dame, royal biber but constant lymph. Bonner-faced and bonner features, nasal hose and river mouth, bang the change and batter the bolster, big smoke and lickly roast thee, humanity's far men by society's leader, a Vogner and Trolley, Humbert and Elf, Earl of War and Miribow, Leaks and Awfully Basil, Curse Yet Ye Grace Abund, Reggie's Producer, with Screen Doll, Vedette, Peg of His Claim and Pride of Her Heart, Cliff's Cower, Grizzly But Rock Dove Cooing, Hold and Stack on Frig But Baron and Femme, That He May Discover Her, That He May Uncouple Him, that one may come and couple them, that they may soon recoup themselves. Now and then, time on again, as per periodicity, from Neves to Wilza, from Bushmills to Enos, to Gerst from Harlem to Hearts of Oak, from Skittish Ridders via Mala, Hyber Pass, Heckes Way per Alp Track, through Lands Vague and Vain after many man delays in their first case to the next place, till their cousin carries the high and the by, both pent and plain, cross cloud cow slips, yellow, 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 past pumpkins, pin quind, purple sum, be they whack to the wide other tie to hustings, long sized roads need this arthrusit, him to the derby, her to tune, Till second hand do codlum in the grounds or unto linen. Rue to lose and Sakani at Shipshide by Convent Garden Monk and Seamstress. In sackcloth silkily, curious dreamers, curious dramas, curious demon, plagueous daemon, player jest dearest, plagueous dowest for the Strangford planters are protesting and the Karkary felons. Dry flooring it on the leopardy's ladders, railing the way, blump for slow ghostly. Stop. Did I stir? No, with fast. On to bed. So he is. It's only the wind on the road outside for to wake all shivering shanks from snoring. But, whom God is villain, who will he be, this mitrimen, some king of the yeast, in his crimsy grey Brunzevig, with the snow in his mouth, and the Caspian asthma? So bulk of build, relics of Pharaoh and Levite, Dick Gill, Tum Lung, or Mac Finnan's cool, Howing, he has only his head cosy casket on, and his woolsey shirt plis with peace got doublet. Also his feet wear doubled with socks, for he always must be in to ensure warm sleep between a pair of fully fleeced bankers like a finnock in a cowl. Can thus be missed for a nork man that keeps our hotel. Begore, Mr. O'Sorgwin, you're looking right well, heckless champion ethnicist. How deft as a fucksha, shows deft as a fish. He's the devil's own doge for Dublin existence. Put a jolly fine decent form of one word, he's rounding up on his family. 
And who is the bodikin by him, sir? So vul si valshi, with ips and zabs. He tricks the trail, is tripping her up. Look at the way for the look of her smoke, she's looping the lamp. Why, that's all business, wipe them dry. Well, 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 so wells. Donna water, as steady as me, with her half bend, as proud as a peahen, alabami, and a trout beck with a lipe, ninya nyana, and her step to jazzy mars, kulunda bustle. Happy tea area, naughty gay fru, selling sunlit soaps to wash out winces, and rain cold draughts to the props of his pubs. She's tired lipping the swells at Pontalees, till she jumped the broom and brown her mouth. Now she's borrowed his head under high its hatch, and loamed his fate in loved old love's lane, and she's just the same old hapers of dripping. She's even brent her hair. What route are they going? Why, angel, sitter, or oh, Armen corner, Norwood, Southwark, or Euston waste? The solvent man in his upper game by own. Without with not a breath against him and the wee wiping woman housey. Their common tarog, their diamond wedding tour, giants inchly elfkins elm, festing their characters vixen de Volmont, Andens Alla, Athor's heir, our first day, man and your dresser and mine, that Luxemburger I wreck, Cetisus Alzet. Connie Glickshire with his queenish countess, Stepney's shipchild with the waif of his bosun, Dunmo's flitcher with duck on the rock, down the scales the way they went up, under talls and threading tormentors, shunning the star traps and slipping the sliders, risking the runway, ruining reveals from Elder Arbor to La Prairie, Escaping the clock back, crystalline carbon, sweetheartedly, hot and cold and electricery, with attendance and lounge and promenade free. In spite of all that science could boot at, or art art could eke, both the grind and cave and can em, single wrecks for the weak, double axe for the male, and quick quack quack for the radios. Renove that Bible you will never have post in your pocket unless you have brass on your plate. Be guards thou door, go to the end thou, thou sluggeth. Go to the end thou slow guard. Mind the monks and their grasps. Scrape your souls. Commit no miracles. Postpone no bills, respect the uniform, hold the wibers for the cunning his platter horn, let leash the dooves for the cooing her coins, hate not have nots, share the wealth and spoil the veal. Peg the pound to Tom the devil, my time is on draft, hear now chuck English and learn to pray plain. Lean on your lunch, no cuts before me. Practice preaching, think in your stomach and pour through the nose, by faith alone. Seasons weather grabas along, lots feed from my tide table. Oils wells in our lands, let ear wiggers wivable teach you the dance. Now their laws assist them, and ease their fall. For they met and mated and bedded and buckled and got and gave, and reared and raised and brought thou land within her danger, and turned them tarrying to the sea and planted and plundered and pawned our souls and pillaged the pounds of the extra mules and fought and feigned with strange relations and bequeathed us their ills and we crutched cripples' gates, and undermined lunk-acres, 
man planted seven sisters, while one warm wooed woman scrubs and turned out coats, and removed their origins and never learned the first day's lessons, and tried to mingle and manage and save and feathered foes' nests, and fouled their own and way left the aeronauts, and ponted road of vals for the Zolga bordered and escaped from liquidation by the heirs of their death and were responsible for congested districts and rolled old logs into Peter's soyery and worth new woodcuts on Piola's wharf and you said Rachel's lee and rammed Dominic's gap and looked haggards after laser tables and rode four score odd winters and struck rock oil and forced a policeman and collapsed at their fires in two biased and Zachary and left off leaving off and kept on keeping on and roused up drink and poured balm down and were cuffed by their customers and bit the dust at the foot of the pole when in their dear garth he gave up his goat after the battle of Multiferry. Pharaoh with fairy to lie let them Yet they wended back, qual his life, immortality, bull the boob, and river she divil, light in land, helm on high, to pickaboo dirk the thicket of slumware, till their hour with their scene be struck forever, and the book of the dates he close, he clasp. And she, and she, seen her tour that year, Provinced a calling, so Loska hears, O she, O sham, and gentle is that isut gag, Flispering in the night leaves flattery, Dinsidiously to fin again to sin again, And to make grim grandma grunt and grin again, While the first grey strikes, Still silvering by, for to mock their quarrels in Dollymount tumbling.